In this video, we're going to make a make.com workflow from scratch where we're going to take this list of people. Oh, man, I already ran it before, but anyway, this list of people and we're going to find email addresses for these people using Clearout's email finder API. And we're going to do it inside of make.com so you could see like a workflow build from scratch. And so like I spoke about in the previous videos, you always have to think about first, what are you trying to accomplish and what's all of the necessary steps to get there. And so when you look at Clearout, Clearout's API, I need to know the name and I need to know the domain of the company. And so where I have that is in my email enrichment flow, Google Sheet, which is where we're gonna be able to start from. And so all we would have to do is we're gonna to go to Google Sheets and we are gonna click search rows. And we're just gonna map this out for ourselves. And then we're gonna pick the spreadsheet email enrichment flow. So this module here is going to search all of the rows for email enrichment. It's going to search all of the rows so that we can just get them as results. So we'll hit this maximum number of returned rows. We'll put five so it just doesn't go crazy. And then we'll hit OK. Now we're going to set up an API call. But what we need to do is we need to run this so that we have actual stuff that we can put into the API call. So I'm going to do it without running it so you can see what it would look like. But now we're going to go over a little bit of how to read API docs and, and all of that jazz. So we're going to HTTP and we're going to hit make a request. So now this is going to open up. We look at the API docs and this is basically what we're given. This is everything that you need. Now I am not an expert in reading API docs, but I do know that you see like curl X and then post. So this means that this is a post command. So when we go to method, we're just going to put post. And then for the URL, we're going to enter this URL as our URL up here. Now see how it has, says H here? Sometimes it'll say headers or sometimes it'll say H. So I know that these are my headers. So I'm just going to copy and paste them in and I'm going to add a header. And so now this needs my API key. I'm going to wait and like pause the video to put that in. So we'll put the other header in which is content type, and just copy and paste them. You don't need these quotation marks at the end. So it's going to be content type, and then we're going to put application JSON. Now in make, it's not entirely obvious like what's going on here, but now this is like the actual payload that we're sending to the API. So we can copy and paste this. And where you put this in make is you scroll down and see how it says body type. So this is technically like the body that we're entering into the API. And so we'll just put body type. We're going to put raw content type application JSON. And then for request content, we'll pull this in. Now, here's what I was saying why we needed to run this one first is because otherwise we wouldn't have everything here in a way that we could see like exactly what the stuff is here. So I already named it, so it's fine. But um, if you ran this, you'd have like an actual example of a full name here. You'd have an exact, an actual example of a domain here and things like that. But we can work with this. So we'll just delete Stephen Morris and we're going to map full name inside of the quotes. And then we're going to delete apple.com. And then we're going to put the full domain inside of the quotes as well. And then we're going to parse the response um, as always. So now I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to pause the video and put my API key in. And now we can resume. So now the way that we can test this is we can hit run this module only. And then we have all of this data here. Good, it did not give away. And so I can put in anything here. And I'm even just gonna put like Eric at growthenginex.com. There we go. Can hit okay. And then it's just gonna search and it's gonna find the, the data. So now we're running this one completely automatically. And so did we get data back? Yes, we did. Emails. Yes, that's my email address. So we nailed it on this one. So now we're ready to continue moving on. And so now this is, oh, so this is really why we'd have to search these rows because now what we can do is we can go to Google Sheets and we can hit update a row. And we'll put email enrichment in here again once it finishes this, this spinny wheel. Yeah, see, it always does that. Email enrichment flow, sheet name, and then it's going to ask us for the row number, but we have no row numbers to enter in. So we'll just keep this the same. This is ready to go. We'll hit run this module only. Now see how this ran successfully and we have the row numbers to choose from. Now we can map over here. Whoops. Email. 
Now we can map into here those row numbers so that everything can get updated. So then row number, see I have the row number here. We'll hit that. So now it knows every time it finds a result, we're gonna enter the email. And we're gonna drop in the email by adding literally it in just like this. Email, and then we'll add the confidence score as well. Uh, confidence, great. We'll hit okay. And so now this is a very, very, very basic workflow where we're taking data from here, running it through uh, make.com using clearouts API key, and then it should update the row and add it back in. And so now I'm going to pause. Well, so I'm going to hit run and I'm just going to pause it because clear out takes a little bit. Never mind. That was literally two seconds. I don't know why it was so fast this time. So now we can go back and then we go to our email enrichment flow and see how we have the confidence score and we have the email address mapped in uh, over here. And so that means that we ran everything that we wanted. And this is like a very, very, very basic make.com um, flow setup. Uh, it, for those of you watching, yes, I know that there, uh, whoops. I know that there's a clear out integration. I just wanted to show how to use the API docs. But anyway, uh, this is a pretty basic setup. We'll go over some more um, complicated setups in further videos.